Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, the last kit that I looked at was a complete and utter fail. So I'd prepped that kit ready, so I'd done the canvas and everything, on the basis that it was we were going to do it, and of course, it didn't. So now, I'm doing another one. Please ignore my nails, I have stripped off my acrylics, I haven't done anything else to them, um, so they look pretty horrific at the moment. But I basically was prepping the canvas so whilst that was drying I was going to do my nails and yeah it was a great plan of multitasking things um which has failed spectacularly so this is a new one this is also a canvas um Alex is with me because he wants to have a look at this one so this is the colour palette we've got which is beautiful now these colours are generally a pain for being translucent but because when you see this one we're going to be doing the flow method anyway with them it's not going to be such a problem or i potentially will be doing the flow method i don't know yet as we know i'm still i'm still jumping around on this one so this is what we have got yeah, i know that's pretty isn't it that looks confusing confusing yes quite confusing hang on you're looking at it upside down dude yeah, at first I thought she was wearing a hat and then she had the hair and then her face. But it's, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at this canvas. You're going to help me. Okay, so this is a grey one. So that's good. It's quite. Oh! Oh, no, you can have that. You. Okay, so it does not come <laughs> with a chart for this one. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to have a look at the paints. Normally, I like to swatch the colours on... Um, the piece the the chart that comes with it basically rather than onto the canvas directly because if it's a crap color and whatever i don't want to then be fighting that to fix that problem to go with everything else so i've got to i've got to prep this properly before we can use that anyway i should have kept the canvas from the other one because i could have used that as a little swatching guide uh, which would have made life a little bit easier but before i do any of that let's have a look at these paints because honestly if i take these paints out and they're an absolute pile of crap it ain't happening i'm not pressing the canvas and we're not doing anything it's as simple as that so as always you get the crappy brushes which are crap you can have those okay. not that my son gets crap but basically because They've got little, they've got little kiddies paint by numbers, and the brush that came with that was even worse than those brushes. So now he's got a set of brushes. Yay! Yay! So enthusiastic, there, my love. And then I also have my paint by numbers upstairs, which is bigger than your current one. Right. So first, let's have a look at these paints. Okay, that's starting off looking like a good. Yeah. That's workable. That's good. It is very thick at the moment. So if you're going to use the flow technique, you really have to thin that paint out. I, if you see my other videos, I use flow aid to do that. And I will use straight flow aid predominantly because you don't need that much of it. Because I don't want to dilute the paint. I just want to thin the paint if I'm using that technique. Now, what we need is something to swatch these on as well. Do we need a piece of paper? We need a piece of paper that has got... You know what? I'm going to use, so I've got a nice colouring book. And obviously we've got black lines in it. That's cool. So let's see if we can cover up. That is cute. Right, do you want to hold that for me? So we can use this to test the coverage of the paints because if it can't cover over this, we're going to struggle with it. Okay, I'm going to clean off my 
stirring stick. Wet my brush. Stirring utensil. And I pick up a bit of that. And so I'm not going to go for the thickest line. Ew. Okay, no, there's too much water in that brush. Let me just try that again. Is that two coats, maybe? Even with two coats, that is not going to cover that. Okay, like I said, I would do the flow technique with this. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to show the coverage. I don't know, because not everybody does the flow technique. And with these paints, you don't have to. Again, these look, I can tell just by looking at it, look at it. It's fine. That paint is fine. Okay, but the coverage, they're transparent. Now, I expect all of these to be transparent, okay? This is not a shock to my system, and this is why I'm going to do the flow technique, because the flow technique works brilliantly with transparent colours. What does it make them do? Because what it does is, you see how at the moment we're just brushing that on? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're thinning out the paint as you do it, mm -hmm. that's why you can see that underneath. With the flow technique, you thin down the paint, but you end up with like a blob, right? And you you make kind of like a puddle of paint, right? And because then you've got this thick layer of paint that then dries, it covers it up. Ooh. Does that make sense? So, so like you've, so like if you've accidentally spilled a tub of paint because it's like a big blob, it will cover it. It will. If you had like um, a drawing with black lines and stuff, um, if there was some paint on it and you used the flow technique, it wouldn't show the line underneath because it's in a big blob. Um, so let me show you what I mean, because this works as a great example for people watching this video. Okay. So in my shirt, these are all ready, flow technique ready these paints right so if i take a similar color to this palette which is the number six this was the only one that when i did the flow technique i did have to go over it again okay. but you can see how translucent these yeah. paints i'm going to give this a stir because i haven't used this one for a little while it's not going to work quite right because we're doing this on a piece of paper rather than a board what is the difference okay so what i need to do to make sure this paint doesn't go all the way through everything else i don't mind if it goes on my table can you hold that open for me and so what we do with this can you see how thin that paint is yeah, yeah? so we've thinned down the paint and so what we do is we puddle it whoa that really does cover like that Okay, and so when that dries, okay, you don't don't see that line. That's good. So okay, let me put let me put it on a darker cell. Wow. And the idea is that you make it nice and thick, and you see how you keep coming back in, and that's why you thin the paint out so much. So you don't end up with a gigantic puddle. Okay. Now, so th that bit on my brush, so say if I if I painted that on, mm -hmm. right? You can see it. You can see the line. Pretty clearly, to be honest. Yep, so Just that is the difference. Wow. Was that with the <clears> same paint? That's with that paint, yeah. Oh. So that's the same paint I had on the brush from doing that to doing that. So and like that you, is the difference between the techniques. So if this was my brush, you'd go like that and that would do that. Yep. So but with you, that, you do that. But if you blob, With this one, you're blobbing. See how I've got a big blob on the end of my brush? Yeah. All right. And you're basically just making it blob over. Ooh. Yeah? Ooh. See that? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, look at that. And now, you can't see it, can you? That's the difference between the techniques. Now, all of these colours, and I, like I say, I already know this, all of the colours in this will be translucent, okay? They will all be like this. So what I'm going to do for this video, instead of swatching them all like this, because like I said, they're all going to be like this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to prep my canvas. I'm going to get these paints and we're going to prep them, okay, to do the flow technique. So I'm going to prep most of them, but leave one, you know, to show people how to prep it. And then we're going to swatch them using the flow technique, I think is the way to go with this. Because like I say, I already know that every single one of these paints, bar black, is going to be translucent and streaky. So if you're going to paint it on, okay, this is what it is going to look like. Your canvas you're using is grey, so it already it will cover more. But it's going to take a good few coats to get it to cover up, okay? And then the more coats you have to keep doing, the more time that takes up. Whereas if you use a flow technique, you need one coat and you move on. Wait, but also, um, isn't it true that the more coats you use, because paint's going on top of paint, it's going to make it thicker, and that just means that if the paper bends, it could crack? Um, well, it's canvas, mm. so it's not paper. Here's the first one for that. As in, like, the paint could crack, couldn't it? Um, well, but don't forget for the flow technique, you're putting a lot of paint on there, but it is thinner paint yeah like if we don't know how many coats it could use you never know it might use like 10 coats and well, the thing could is you could thick. run out of paint because if you're having to keep putting multiple coats over it you're using paint all the time for that okay these are not very big pots no. whereas when you use the flow technique because you thin the paint out you automatically get more paint oh. than you would normally right so all of these so far, just by pulling the lid out, I can tell they're not looking too bad. Is it because they're shiny? Well, do you, do you remember seeing the, the other ones? Literally, the minute I poked it, right? It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. This moves around. So these are thick, right? Some of these are thicker, but they're, but not... they're not unmanageable thick. Because so... if I thin them down for the flow technique, they will start to move more. The problem with the other one is the fact a lot of it kind of, it gone too hard. It gone past the point of no return. Now, if it had just been one colour that had done that, I'd be happy to put in the time and effort to try and fix that. But 15 out of 13 paints like that, I'm not going to waste my time trying to fix that. Wait, don't you mean 13 out of 15 paints? No, because it was 18 paints and three of them, only three of them were any good. Oh. So again, fine. Can we put the book back to normal? No, because that hasn't dried. <laughs> this my arm's hurting. Oh, diddums. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll do. Right, so, because it's now, what, half eight at night. Yes. I am not going to try and do this now. What I am going to do is we're going to get the iron out and we're going to prep the canvas. Okay, and I'm going to gesso the canvas tonight so that tomorrow it will be ready. And then we can start doing this. Okay. Okay. <coughs> and then if you, I'm guessing, do you want to help me with that? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I want to let you loose on this, but you know. You can at least sit there and watch and maybe stir stuff. <laughs> I've seen your paint by numbers, dude. I'm terrible at it. I can't do the small parts. No. I can do it with a crayon perfectly fine. Yep. But it's just the paint, it spreads more. And also the brushes aren't the size I need them. Dude, I have like loads of different yeah, size brushes. you don't brushes. let me use your brushes. My you brushes? To, you have to make me use these brushes. No, I have got other brushes, but shall we show them what happens to the brushes when I give you them? 
and you spread all the bristles out and you leave them and they dry like that and then they're ruined within one use of you. Mmm. Yes. Right, we are going to come back because like I say, I'm not... Normally I have my little chart and I just swatch away and it's easy to do. Um, but I haven't. And as much as as lovely as the bunny is it doesn't quite do the same job so we shall be back shortly whether or not i swatch them all in front of you or i will just do the flow technique with them and show you the results for each of this set because we're already 16 minutes in so that might be the better option you can just see what the colors are like or if we leave one and you sh and you um show them how to do it yeah at the end yeah, that's what I mean. So I'll I'll get these all ready. I will do a little bit on each one so we can see what the colours are like. Ooh, which isn't going to help, actually, because once I cover up the colour, I'm not... The number, I'm not going to know which colour's which because all these colours are so similar. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Unless you use the black, a little bit of black and draw the number on that defeats the purpose of trying to cover up the numbers. Hmm. Mm. That's poop. So no. Um. Although maybe if, maybe if um we get the two colours and um, because this one's slightly darker than this one, you can easily see the difference. Um, you might be able to tell the difference between that if we know what they both look like in paint. Or like what I could do is just put pictures on the end of this video with the numbers as they've dried. But I think that would be pretty boring. Um, so basically, yes, my conclusion is, even though I haven't swatched all of these, I do already know that they are going to all be translucent. And so I'm going to use the flow technique for them. So that, that is basically this video is I've unboxed it. I've showed you the paints and the colours we've got. Uh, I've shown you the canvas and the different two different techniques. Um, so I may do another video doing the flow technique and see where we go with that. And I'll put it up as a separate video then for tomorrow of each colour, just doing a little bit with the flow technique and seeing how they go. Okay. I don't know. I'm getting confused. I'm confused as well. Basically, I've got nothing else to say about in this video, so I'm just thinking what else I can do in another video if we go that far. I don't know. I'm going to call it quits at this point. Um, <laughs> in this video, there you go. That is That is the kit. That's what you get. Um, I got this one from eBay and it was about 10 quid, I think. But I have had this one a very long time, so I'm not sure if I can find the link for it. I will go and have a look now. And then I will do another video, which will have, yeah, me doing some of it. I'm not going to time lapse it because obviously the canvases are just too big. They don't fit in shot, uh, but I, I will do something else. And I will, of course, show you the finished result once it is done so we will catch you in the next video bye bye okay so if you've watched the first part of this video this is me coming back in and i'm just giving you a bit of an update because i was all confident yesterday yesterday when i unboxed the paint that i could do this with the flow technique there was no reason why i couldn't and then today i've come to mix the paints to try to do that and it's not working all right, these paints will not. So this has had 15 drops in it between straight flow aid and diluted flow aid. And it is still completely the wrong consistency. In fact, it's still, it's kind of stringy. All right, it's supposed to drip off your brush and it, it doesn't. I can't actually fit any more in here to try and thin this down more. And then I thought, oh, do you know what? Because they all label them as oil paintings, right? But they're not. They are acrylic paints, not oil paints. These paints, however, smell funny. 
And I didn't notice it yesterday because obviously we were just opening them up and we were talking. When I got closer to them and I'm, you know, especially now I've tried to use them. So this is me just using a brush with it on, which does work, you know. But the smell is just horrible. I, it's like, almost like ammonia. Right? If you've ever smelled, not that you should ever go around sniffing ammonia. It's just my dad with his job, he uses it as a chemical. Um, so it's just a smell that I know. And that's what it smells like. Now, even with oil paints right? They don't smell like that. And the other thing is, if this was actually oil paint, it would not be washing off my brush with water. Right? You normally have to use uh, terps or what? I think it's terps, I think, for oil paint. Um, whereas this does wash off my brush with water. Something is just off with this paint. And I don't know what it is. Okay? I'm not an expert. I'm not going to claim anything. All I'm telling you is that this is not doing what it's supposed to do. And it smells like no other paint I have used. Um, put this in spec. So these are some that I used. Yeah, see? I smell that. And it doesn't smell chemically at all in fact i can barely smell this now this is acrylic paint um that i used for one of my paint by numbers that is really really strong really in your face strong um let's have a smell these are some watercolors that i've got again can barely smell anything off them at all i'm just thinking have i actually got any oil paints behind me so I can see all then and see. Uh, I don't know if I've actually got because I don't use oil paints. I've never used oil paints, but it just it something's wrong. Something is wrong. And I don't particularly want to be because when you when you're doing these, right, your head is over them, right? That, I do not want to be sniffing ammonia or whatever the hell that is. I do not want to be inhaling that for hours at a time whilst I'm doing this. Um, the coverage, as we already know, because when I just showed you on a piece of paper, you know, in fact, I can swatch them on this for you now and I'll prove that. The coverage for this is crap, which means that not only am I going to have to stick my face there whilst I do it the first time around, we're going to have to have several coats. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out number three, which is one I looked at yesterday. And when you first look at it, you know, that consistency is good. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, again, <coughs> yeah, straight off the bat, that is, that, that's not, that's, no. <coughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, no, right, I'm going to, this is number three. Let me find a number three. Oh, that's a tiny one. Let's have a decent one. Come on, give me, give me a number three. Do you know what? Okay, let's change over because I can see I've got number 14 there. Let's find number 14. What's that one? Oh, that's a dark one. I don't really want a dark one. Number two. Okay, number two. I found a number two. Let's have a look. So this is completely, I haven't done anything to this paint whatsoever. Okay. And I can see the number two at that. I appreciate with the lights and everything you possibly can't, but I can see it through there. So this is going to take at least two coats to cover these. All right. OK, 
you know, the, the paint works very well, very nice, you know. Like I said, I'd want to put a bit of flow in just to make it go further and just it fights you less. But like I said, the minute I put the flow aid in, that's when I knew something was wrong because it wasn't doing what it's done on the other ones. And then I noticed the smell and I thought, oh, Jesus, maybe that's the flow aid. And that's when I sniffed one that I hadn't put any flow aid in and discovered it's not the flow aid. Um, it is definitely this paint. And as much as this pains me, I don't think I'm going to complete this one either. I, I, I'm i just not, I don't, I don't want to be inhaling that, to be honest, because like I say, I do appreciate we're up here at the moment, but I am generally quite far down, you know, and I spend hours at a time doing bits, so I don't want to be inhaling this. So this one for me is going to be another no. I've just put this in water. It's plain old water. You see? It's come off the brush. Oh, trust me to get it on my nail. they just done my nails and all. Not particularly very well, but it was just something to put on because I haven't got time to sort right at this moment. Um, so, <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, no is the answer to this one. This is another fail. Um, because like I say, my time is precious. I am not going to do a project. I mean, this cost me six quid, I think it was. So it really doesn't make a blind bit of difference to me um, in terms of cost wise. I mean, if I'd spent 30 quid on this, I'd be really pissed. Excuse my French, but I didn't. So I don't care if it just cost a, you know, a fiver. Um, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to inhale those. Um, and I'm I'm not going to fight. So this one for me is a, another fail. <laughs> and we shall move on to the next one. <laughs> some of you may be interested in some of this, uh, you know, some people may not. But for me, if I can find these fails, as I do with my nail videos, when things go wrong, I like to show how to fix it. Or, you know, sometimes you just have to call your losses. And if I just stop got other people from buying this kit... And having, you know, wasting their money and getting really frustrated and peed off with it, then awesome. I have achieved. So there you go. That's this one for today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.